My mental health isn't something I took seriously until one day I thought about driving off a bridge. Fortunately, I didn't go that route, but I did find a place called Bridges. So I'm at Deja. She's my therapist. Talk to me. Tell me everything. My mom's all on this control woman stuff, and Denise has been talking about getting married. My ex has been asking me to do things. Wait, wait, slow down. You're getting married? No, not really. Denise has been talking about it. You didn't say yes, did you? No. The proposal got pushed back because she wants all her friends to be there. What do you mean? The proposal. Janice wants it to be perfect. Isn't that something you plan? It's a new age. I thought about it and she planned it. JT, be honest. You can do that here. Are you ready for that? No. Please don't play with her emotions. Tell her you're not ready. Can you do that? Yeah, I can. And what's up with the ex? Is this the same one that said she was having a baby by another man? Yeah, it's that one. She's back? I thought you were with Janice. I am. Then why is this other girl in the picture? I thought you moved on. I have. It's just when I try to move on, it's like nothing seems to work out. <sighs> okay. Let's start with the ex. But it's been a minute. Remind me of how this started. Whew. Happy I caught up with you. I couldn't help back there, but notice your form. Uh, I used to be a track coach, and if you don't have the right form, then you waste a lot of energy when you run. Stop playing. I know this place has really good waters on the south side. You mean taste of soul? Yeah, I didn't think anybody knew about that. They got good limes, too. So you a funny guy. <laughs> no, I'm just working on some cardio passing through. Mm. You have pretty eyes. Thanks. <laughs> I'm batting my eyelashes. I think I have eyelashes. <laughs> you got some? <laughs> I've never got that before. First time for everything. You coming? I guess. I just can't stop thinking about that night. And she was wearing this red lipstick. And I just still remember the words. A woman has needs, JT. You're stuck in that moment. That's not good. Do you think it was traumatic? <laughs> Girlfriend cheating on you? That's not trauma. Trauma is like getting shot at or seeing your homeboy get killed. This isn't like that. A lot of people have a narrow view of how they view trauma. They are strong until you poke them here, and they fall apart. I don't think I process stuff like that. Then how do you process your stress? I don't know. Guess I just, guess I just keep on moving until I stop remembering. Did you forget the day Tanisha told you she was pregnant? It's not that big of a deal though. What you mean it's not that big of a deal? It's a baby, Tanisha. Calm down, don't get loud. I guess I just keep on moving until I stop remembering. Well, if that's how you work, you're going to make me a millionaire. Peace ain't cheap. You got that right. Do you want to be a stepdad? No. Then why do you keep letting Tanisha back into your life? Why do you keep opening the door? I'm worried about you. If you continue on this track, then things won't end well for you, JT. She needs help with things, and I help her sometimes. And then her boy, he ain't really got nobody. And I hate to see him go through the stuff I did. Well, be a mentor then. It sounds like you're not ready to let go of Tanisha. And by your actions, you're showing that you want something else. Have you recently been intimate with her? No, I wouldn't do that to Janice. JT, when you're here, 
You tell me what you want. You're clear. You make good decisions. Yes, because here we have parameters. Look how this makes it easy. Yeah, I pay, we talk, no pretense. Out there, it's just different. Do you have boundaries with your ex and Janice? Sort of. Have you ever tried telling them exactly what you want? It's not that easy. You know, it's hot, they want cold. Cold, they want hot. What do you want? Write your rules for your ex, for Janice, for yourself. Then come back and see me. We'll talk about this marriage thing next time. Yes, JT, I'm ready to meet your mom. You know I didn't raise you to be like that. You're not trying to get out of meeting my friends, are you? I'm not worried about meeting your friends at the lounge. That's, that's a piece of cake. Well, I'm just making sure because first you start talking about these parameters and then now you're talking about your mom and her attitude. I'm just trying to find out what the real deal is.